VGC 2016 and 2019 Ultra Series were restricted formats that allowed for the usage of the blue and red orb to obtain the primal versions of Kyogre and Groudon. These forms had massive usage due to their incredible stats and abilities which would set up weather for as long as they were on the field. Not only that, but Primordial Sea would negate all fire moves and Desolate Land would negate all water moves. Groudon was much more dependent on its weather than Kyogre due to the fact it blocked its 4 times weakness to water attacks. So if the only thing that could override Desolate Land was Primordial Sea or Delta Stream, why did some players opt for regular Kyogre over Primal? Almost every stat on Primal was higher, and it had a much better ability. Well, the answer is speed. See, while Scarf Kyogre was never going to be more popular than Primal, on Team Preview there was really no way to tell what version of Kyogre you were facing beyond looking at the partners and inferring from there. Players would use Scarf Kyogre next to Rayquaza because Scarf Kyogre was capable of outspeeding nearly every relevant Pokemon in the format and deal massive damage to them with Water Spout. While before Azernius could hypothetically Geomancy in the face of Kyogre, this option was now off the table because they were too busy slurping down 200 gallons of salt water. While this sweep could easily be stopped by simply switching in Primal Groudon for Desolate Land, there was still one ability that could negate Desolate Land's effects without overriding it directly. Rayquaza's airlock would stop Desolate Land from fizzling out Water Spout, despite the weather still technically being set up. This let many players lead Scarf Kyogre into Groudon and still take KOs despite the weather. This happened in 2016 and repeated once again in 2019, however the strategy got more solid as you could now tack on a Tapu Lele to the team to prevent Fake Out from flinching your Kyogre on lead. Be sure to tune in next time when we talk about the time Geico sponsored an unofficial VGC tournament, but if you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel because I make daily Pokemon content, and check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.